So this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max in blue titanium, and I think you should buy it. And that starts with the overall design of this. Yes, it's strikingly similar to its predecessor, like the 14 Pro Max, the 13 Pro Max, the 12 Pro Max, but Apple did make some pretty good changes. The first thing is the new titanium build around the sides, grade five titanium. This equates to making the phone much lighter than its predecessor. The 14 Pro Max in stainless steel is much heavier, and you can feel it when you have them side by side. In addition, the 15 Pro Max is more curved and rounded more around the sides, which makes it much more comfortable to hold. Uh, it's hard to show it justice, like how much curved it is around the sides of the phone on video. But when you see this in real life, in person, uh, definitely check out your local Apple store and try them out. You're going to notice how the curved sides really does help with holding the phone. Uh, I really do like it. Definitely feels much better in the hand. I don't think you need a overall drastic design change every single year. Apple has done a good job with retaining that. Now, the next thing with this design is going to be USB-C. Apple finally did it. They brought USB-C and that means one cable for all devices. Now with the Pro and Pro Max, there's faster transfer speeds up to 10 gigabits. That's very good. Uh, however, the cable out of the box is not going to offer that, so you'd probably have to pick up another USB-C cable for that. But overall, yeah, Apple made some really good changes. And one last change that they made with the overall design, which I actually uh, am getting used to, is the action button right here on the side. So if you hold the action button, I still have it as its default ring silent. It, it acts as the mute switch for me, but you can go into settings and you can change the action button, uh, whether you want it silent mode, uh, you want it as focus, camera, like if I put it on camera, it's going to, I'm gonna hold and open the camera and then I can use the action button as a shutter uh, button. So I'm gonna press the action button and it's gonna take a photo. So if that's you and you're always using the camera, uh, that's also a really cool feature. Uh, you can also add uh, shortcuts, which pretty much essentially, if you think about it, you can open up any application you would like. Like there's a lot of customization that uh, you can do once you start learning more about the action button, but it's nice to see that Apple uh, did bring that. At first I was a little hesitant because I personally like the mute switch but I'm really becoming fond of the action button. I kept it as a mute switch for now because I wanna find something that's kind of more personal to me that just makes it unique for me. But nonetheless, Apple made some very good changes to the overall design, but kept that same design. Like when you see this, uh, you know you're rocking an Apple device. Next up is going to be the camera improvements. This is where we get some good stuff. Actually, I'm gonna put that on silent. Um, there we go. So the Pro Max, it comes with a 5X telephoto lens, which is something to appreciate. Uh, the 14 Pro Max predecessors were a 3X zoom. This is now 5X zoom optical lens. Uh, I hope like next year and after that, they add more like 10X optical zoom on the S23 Ultra. It's phenomenal. But other than that, other improvements are also really good. Apple's photonic engine combines pixels to make them larger to absorb more light and combines it with a full 40 megapixel frame. So we're still getting the same, you know, 40 megapixel resolution from the 14 Pro Max, but the result is now a 24 megapixel photo, which is the default. Uh, before that, with predecessors, it was 12, which was the default, now it's 24, uh, and it only goes down to 12 megapixels in night mode. It's also nice to see that Apple has denoted 24 millimeters, 28 millimeters, and 35 millimeter focal lengths in the camera app. So if I go to 1X right here, I'm gonna click on 28, which is essentially 1.2X, and then I'm gonna go 35 millimeter, which is 1.5, and then back to 24, which is one. So there's some really good camera improvements here. I like how every year Apple is adding something to the camera department. And video obviously is phenomenal, as always. You can't go wrong with video. And I think it's a great device. Uh, and, and advice I can easily recommend, especially for those who are looking to make content, who want to make better content, uh, whether it be for YouTube or for TikTok. Like I make all my YouTube content uh, now 
on the 15 Pro Max. Uh, and by the way, check out my latest wallpaper pack. It is called Vortex. I'll be leaving a link in the description down below. Uh, this is by far my favorite wall pack and I'm releasing it with the launch of the iPhone 15 series. So definitely be sure to check it out. There's 11 different wallpapers, 11 different colors to go with whichever iPhone color you do pick up. So, or you can use it on your Android device, but definitely be sure to check it out. Now, let's end it off with performance. When you go with an iPhone, you know you can't, you're not going to be missing out on the performance. And the 15 Pro Max is a, a powerhouse. It's got very good performance. The A17 Pro, very powerful chip, in fact, uh, numbers show that it's on par with the M1 chip, which is a huge thing. Like I have, in essence, I have a mobile device that has the same power as a laptop. That is really cool and different. Like when you think about that, just a jaw dropping in, in my opinion. Uh, but nonetheless, day-to-day -day use has been very smooth. There's been no hiccups whatsoever. iOS 17 has... Uh, been nearly bugless for me when compared to the launch of the 14 Pro Max and iOS 16. Now, Apple has been touting a lot of like gaming with the 15 Pro Max. Uh, the only games I have really are Pokemon Go, Call of Duty, and Agar.io. Yes, I do play the game. I actually really like it. And I also play Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, but there are some games that Apple was talking about during its event uh that it plans on releasing and i'm going to try those games out and see how it is on the 15 pro max and there's also a upgrade from six to eight gigs of ram although apple doesn't usually announce those uh, but eight gigs of ram and the 15 pro max just for those who are curious and a slightly larger battery too but overall performance and let's add the battery life like in my use case of using it i have been getting much better battery life than the 14 pro max so that's that's a good thing to hear uh and as far as like overheating issues um i personally haven't come across any overheating issues with the 15 pro max yet uh, i'm definitely going to be going into more intense testing uh trying out various things on the 50 pro max kind of pushing it to its absolute limits and i'll push out uh follow-up videos on my experience with the 15 pro max but this is going to be a huge upgrade especially if you have the 12 pro max or older or if you have an android device and you want to pick up the 15 pro max especially because it has usb-c then go for it but this is a great phone good job apple uh keep up the great work i absolutely love this device if you did enjoy definitely be sure to superman the like button comment down below and best of all share that video because it really does help the video a lot and it helps the channel a lot and will help push my content out to more people. That's been it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.